Hey guys, we've been uh, stopped in Blackpool Lifeboat Station about masks. So this will be going to pool. We're not being nasty. <laughs> we can't go in without a mask, guys. <laughs> Dad, Dad, bugger him, bugger him. No, I want, I want the names of Jessica's and I'm going to sue her. There's no question, but that's where it is. Thank you. 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 Th
If you're calling to speak to an officer, as you know their caller number, you can email them direct by using their caller number followed by atlantisha.pnn.police.uk. calling Lancashire Police. We are helping other people so there will be a delay in answering your call. If you wish to make a non-emergency report you can do this quickly and easily online at lancashire.police.uk forward slash report it. Thank you for being patient and apologies for the delay in answering your call. Did you know we have dedicated operators who are there to take your non-emergency report online at lancashire.police.uk forward slash report it. This may be quicker than continuing to hold. Thank you for being patient and apologies for the delay as all our operators are still busy helping other people. If you can access the internet, you can easily make non-emergency reports online at lancashire.police.uk forward slash... Good afternoon, Lancashire Police. How can I help you? Hi, mate. Can I report a hate, a disability hate crime, please? Yeah, what's happened with that crime? Right. Well, you know that you've got this mask con exemption thing like that. I had my lanyard on and basically said to the RNLI shop volunteers, obviously, I respect everything they do, you can't come into the shop without a face mask on. I was polite, like I said, I'm exempt, I can't wear a face mask because of disability problems. You can't come yeah. in constantly shouting at me. We had a peer full of people so I just feel a bit al alarmed and distressed of what's going on because I shouldn't be really put through that situation yeah um so I was just wondering because it's an hate crime as well now because I've got I've got disabilities as well and it, it you just you don't feel right and I, yeah, I respect I everything yeah. they do so yeah, we, right, yeah no, I can understand where you're coming from and how you might feel in regards to actually the, the hate element unfortunately the the companies are entitled to a true attention to someone into um, a shop, and obviously said you wanted to go in. And he said that you know you can't, you know, uh, you can't wear a mask for medical reasons. But unfortunately, if they have uh, rules saying that everybody has to wear a mask, it is um, down for them. Unfortunately, to how they enforce that, whether they enforce that or not, um, we 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 can't document it. The hate crimes, you know, they can't. You know, they've not said that. You know, if they said you can't come in because of your disability, uh, then, you know that's a different story. Um, if you're not happy with the way they've dealt with it, it it'll be worth our putting the complaint into the actual sh uh, the shop okay. or um, someone who's a little bit more senior at the shop. Okay. Uh, what about public order? Because there was a, a massive crowd gathering and, you know, with the alarm and distress yeah. element, it, I yeah. think it's a public order offence, to be totally honest, as well. I respect the, what yeah, the RNLI yeah. do, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I understand where you're coming from. In regards to the, the public order offence, um, unfortunately, we'll need the criteria to be an actual public order offence. Um, so I understand, obviously, you're alarmed and distressed. So I can make a report of it, yeah. um, but it need, you, you need to ideally make a, make a complaint to the actual shop. Okay. To, you know, which should happen. But let me just take some details from you. Yeah, What's no your problem. name? Can you hold postcode, please, David? It's where, where do you live, sorry? Oh. The tourist, you see, to Blackpool, so... <laughs> right. right, okay, what was your postcode? Okay, what's the first time of your address, please? It's okay, one moment. Do you mind if I just take your date of birth, please? And which shop did you say you were in? It was the Blackpool R and L I shop, you know, that's on precinct. I'm not from Blackpool, so I don't know the name of the streets of yeah, that. Right. <laughs> But it's where all trams go past you put if you for, if you know the one on the front. Yeah. It's uh, near that coral island, is it called? Yeah, I think 
that yeah. one. I'm all be set, I'll get the right one. No problem. Was it the actual station or was it a shop? It was the station which is attached to the shop. It's it's all as one big building. Yeah, no problem, mate, no problem. Right, okay, I've created a lock for you, David. Um, yeah. And what I'll do is I'll text it to your mobile phone that you're calling me from. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine, thank you. Um, yeah, so my advice would be to go back to the RNLI and um, see if you can speak to somebody a bit more senior, either give them a call or make, make a formal complaint. Okay, I um, think their red office, office is pool, if I'm not mistaken. I think the bit, the main RNLI is pool, isn't it? I'm, I'm not sure, but I'll, go, I'll Google it, I'll find out. <laughs> yeah, all right, mate, no right, problem. No problem. Thank you for your time, mate. Thank you for your all service right, no as problem. well. Take care now. Bye yeah, bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for calling the RNLI supporter experience team. The office is currently closed. Your inquiry is important to us, and therefore, if you would like to leave a message, please do so, leaving your name along with your full telephone number and details of your inquiry so we can return your call as soon as possible. If your inquiry is for the RNLI College, you can contact them direct on 0300 300 7654. That's 0300 300 7654. Thank you for your support of the RNLI. Good afternoon. I'm not leaving my... Good afternoon. I'm not leaving my name because of the experience I've received in one of your stores. I am exempt for medical purposes. I do not expect your staff screaming at me because I cannot wear a mask. I respect everything you do and the service you do so please can you inform your voluntary staff that not everybody can wear a mask thank you very much and if you would like to speak to me in person because i actually think of opening up a civil case against the rnli you can do or i am disgusted on how i have been treated. thank you